I am Michelle McPherson, and this is The Michelle McPherson Show, the only internet marketing podcast dedicated to answering your burning business questions. Find us and submit your own questions at fromideatoempire.com. And now for today's episode. Hey folks, Michelle McPherson here. It's another quick episode of The Michelle McPherson Show, and I wanted to show you what I've been using to keep myself motivated. It is a quick little hack that you can get set up in about a half an hour, maybe, to get everything from start to finish, and I think that it will help you keep your business on track this year. So what we're using is geckoboard.com, which is a stats dashboard. It allows you to display stats from a lot of common services that we all use. And then, um, because I'm not super good at remembering to go check my gecko board every day, I've actually set it up to display as my screensaver. So every time um, I get in a conversation or otherwise take a break from the computer, I'm able to see my stats as they pop up. And in that way, I am reminded, or I do, whether I want to or not, check them every single day. And in this case, actually multiple times a day because there they are on my screen, right? One of the things for me with dashboards and reports and stuff like that, if I get a report in the email over a PDF or even just in an email, I'm probably not gonna open it. I'm gonna go, oh, that's my daily report with stats, but I'm, I don't really take the time that I should. And so this has been a huge solution for me and I think that it might be helpful for you too. So to give you an idea of some of the stuff that you can do with Gecko Board and that you can get it to display, mine right now shows my time And it also shows Philippines time because my team is in the Philippines. So that gives me a quick look at what time it is there. Are people up yet? Are they working yet? Um, It tells me AWeber subscribers today versus yesterday, AWeber total subscribers. It uh, syncs with Zendesk. And so I'm able to see the current active tickets, how many tickets are waiting, the average reply time, average requester wait time, all of those kinds of stats so that I know um, what kind of activity we're seeing in our in our support desk and how well that activity or those requests are being handled. I'm able to see traffic from Google Analytics to my websites. I'm able to see conversions from my website. So I'm able to see, oh, okay, we're making sales on this particular product, but not this one so much. Um, maybe we should ramp up promotions to that. Um, I have a productivity score. This taps into my rescue time, which is another tool that I use to keep myself on track. Um, and then I'm also, I've got a lot of the social stats. So YouTube views, Facebook likes, new Facebook likes, engaged Facebook users, Twitter followers, that kind of stuff. In addition, it can take in RSS feeds. So with that, I've got my most recent blog posts and then I also have the RSS feed from my project management system so I can see the tasks that are being worked on, the comments, that kinds of thing. Um, and Gecko Board does a ton more. It'll hook in with your Infusionsoft and get you a lot of sales data, if that's the kind of stuff you're looking for. Tons of other services that you may be using. And um, it's really helped me force myself to look at these numbers every single day. And when I see a drop in traffic, or when I see a gap in sales, or when I see that um, you know I have less subscribers today than I did yesterday, it motivates me to get to work and get those numbers up. You always wanna see the little green arrows pointing up. That's how Gecko Board displays that kind of stuff. And then red arrows uh, point down if things are going down. So I wanna see more green arrows, more green text. And um, this has helped me, like I said, stay on track, stay motivated and get pointed in the right direction every single day. Now, if you're on a Mac, uh, there is an issue with being able to set a live web page as your screensaver. It's not something that's built in, and I believe that that is a built-in functionality on Windows these days. But if you're on a Mac like I am, you can use a little tool called WebSaver, and uh, it's at code.google.com. Just search for WebSaver, you'll be able to find it. It'll download, um, you install it into your system, and then it'll be in your screensaver settings. You can choose WebSaver, enter in the URL that you wanna display, which of course is gonna be your Gecko Board URL, and boom, it's set up. It's pretty simple. I'll have the links below this video so that you can get it set up too. I hope that you enjoy it, and I hope that this tip keeps you motivated in your business too. Uh, if you've got any questions about the setup or something completely different, head on over to Michelle McFarland Pearson.com and let me know. I'd be happy to answer them in a future episode. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.